primary role as a veterinarian at the zoo is the health of our animals. We're also involved in clinical research that can improve the welfare and lives of our animal collection. Um, involved in this a little bit is also reproduction and the veterinary team is uh, highly involved in the reproduction of our animal collection. This can vary anywhere from harvesting semen from endangered animals to inseminating the, the females and then also supporting the mother and the baby during the parturition and the eventual growth of the baby. The veterinary team is involved in two projects right now. One is the introduction of a soft shell, a spiny soft shell turtle that's native to Quebec and also little brown bats that are native to Quebec. Uh, the, the veterinary team is involved in that aspect. Um, maybe in the future we might also be involved in more larger scale reintroductions of some of our endangered species such as the amber leopard. As lions as a general population, there are probably about 16 to 30,000 lions in nature right now. Uh, in comparison, when you compare that to about um, 100, 100,000 in the year 2000. So there's been a significant drop in the overall population. Um, this drop has been related to everything from loss of habitat, and associated with that, of course, the loss of prey, and also the use of lion parts in traditional medicine in Africa and Asia. Cow is the older female that I mentioned, and then we had Congo and Cecilia, the two young, two younger animals. Lion introductions can be very pop, can be very problematic, and uh, the lions can be aggressive and territorial, and they can cause really sometimes severe injuries that can be, can be fatal. So in captivity, when we do these introductions, we do them very slow. When we actually started the physical introductions, we noticed some signs of stress in cow. And we thought that Zilkin in this situation could be useful for continuing on with the introduction without having to maybe stop it in the process. We could decrease her reactivity and therefore maybe and additionally calm the other two lines because they're reacting to her. I think one of the best things about Zilkin, the, the benefits is that there is no real toxicity to the product. There's no negative effects. And I think in certain species, such as the felines, there seems to be an obvious subjective effect with its utilization to, as a, as to decrease the stress as to have a calming effect for our collection animals. Our role as veterinarians at any, in any zoo is for the welfare of our animals. And many times if we can improve that welfare through changes in the environment and uh, maybe even enrichment items, that's great. But sometimes it requires something else. And Zilkin is a wonderful tool to potentially um, decrease the stress and increase the welfare for our animals when needed.